When it comes to deciding in which order to sort your Tailwind utility classes in a project, you may have had these sort of discussions with your team or within yourself. I think we should sort them by alphabetical order. Hmm. How about colors first and then... Well, actually... Wait, listen. All right, let's schedule a meeting. Oh, come on. Can we just let the computer decide? In this video, we take a look at the new Prettier plugin for Tailwind CSS and how it makes those sometimes difficult decisions for you. One less thing to worry about for you and your team. Assuming you may not be familiar with Prettier, we'll do the setup from scratch together. If you're already using Prettier, you only have to really install the plugin to get started. Prettier is an opinionated code formatter that will make sure that every file in the project is formatted the same way. It only has a few options by design since the whole idea is to stop debating and let the tool make the decisions for you. Prettier works with a lot of languages and is supported in a lot of editors and IDEs. And everywhere Prettier works, the Tailwind CSS plugin will work as well. In this video, I'm using VS Code, but you'll be able to do a similar setup in many other editors. Okay, so I'll take a super simple project that uses Tailwind and I'll show you how to set everything up. Let's install Prettier as a dev dependency. All right, so we've got Prettier installed and in the root of our project, I'm going to create a new file called .prettierrc.json. And this gives you a way to pass options if you need, but it also indicates that the project is using Prettier. There's multiple ways to run Prettier and I'll start by showing you how to do it with the command line. So I want to run npx Prettier and I want to do a simple check. So I'll use the dash dash check flag and I want to check the index.html file. All right, so let's run this check and looks like everything's formatted properly. Let me change that. So I will go in here and mess up the indentation and maybe let's take the href tag and put it down here. And I will run the same check once again. All right, so now you can see that we have a code style issue found in the index.html file. The check only checks for issues. It doesn't replace the file. If you want to replace the file and overwrite it, you can do so with the dash dash write flag. And once again, index.html. And that's just for this file, but I could do SRC for everything inside an SRC folder if I had one, or I can do period, which is the entire project. So this time when I run this command, it will rewrite the HTML file with the proper formatting. And here we go. That's one way of running Prettier, and you can use that to set up a formatting step before you commit some code in what's called a pre-commit hook. But what I prefer to do is to format every time I save a file. I'll show you now how to set up Prettier to format on save. What I'm going to show you now is specific to VS Code, but you'll be able to do something similar in your editor of choice. The first thing I'll do is open the extensions panel here and search for an extension called Prettier. So I already have it installed on my computer, but this is what you want to install to use Prettier on VS Code. Then in my VS Code settings, I will search for format. And you can see our default formatter is set to use Prettier, which is good. And down here we have this format on save option, which is checked in. So in case this checkbox is not checked, you want to check that to format on save. Okay, let's try this out. I will intentionally mess up my file with some weird indentation and some line breaks and spaces like that. And when I press save, boom, everything falls into place perfectly. Great, we all set on the prettier side of things and it's time to bring along the Tailwind CSS plugin. I'll add it to my dev dependencies, npm install dash d prettier plugin Tailwind CSS. Okay, so now we have both Prettier itself and Prettier plugin Tailwind CSS in our dev dependencies, and it's important that they are in the same node modules folder for things to work properly. This plugin follows Prettier's auto-loading convention, so as long as you've got Prettier set up in your project, it'll start working automatically as soon as you install it. Okay, we're back in our HTML file and I'll collapse the head tag so we have a minimal setup. And let's try out the Tailwind CSS plugin. So the surface area that this plugin covers is scoped to the class attributes in your templates. And this is where it's going to look for Tailwind classes and sort them out. Let me just paste a few Tailwind utilities and watch what happens to this list of classes when I save my file. Three, two, one. We can see that the plugin is working because our Tailwind classes have been sorted for us automatically. So what's the reasoning and mechanism behind this specific sorting order? Let's talk about that. At its core, all this plugin does is sort your classes in the same way that Tailwind sorts them in your CSS. Classes in the base layer will be sorted first, followed by the classes in the components layer, and finally the classes in the utilities layer. I'll make an example with px4, 
MX Auto and the container class. So the container class comes from the components layer, whereas the other two classes come from the utilities. So when I save, the container class should jump first. And here we go. Same deal within the utilities layer, classes will always be sorted in a way that mirrors the source order in the CSS output. We have an all around padding utility here and then a padding top utility. And the padding top is meant to override the global padding utility. And therefore in the CSS outputs, PT-2 comes after P-4. So when I save, it will switch the order. Something very important to note, changing the order of the classes in your HTML doesn't affect the generated styles in any way. It's the source order of the generated CSS that matters, not the order in which the classes appear in your HTML. In other words, this class sorting thing is not here to avoid bugs and issues, but purely for organization and consistency reasons. In general, the order in which the different utility classes are sorted tries to put the high impact classes first. It then pushes the decorative low impact classes at the end. The approach is also loosely based on the box model starting from the outside in. Let's take a look at this example. I have margin utilities, border utilities, padding utilities, and I will now save this file to sort the classes. And you can see the margin utility affecting the outside is placed first. Then we have utilities that affect the layout like display flex and height. Then we have the border utilities and you can see the border color, although a decoration is grouped with the border width because it makes sense. Then we have the padding and then we have the decorative low impact classes, so to speak, like text gray and shadow. The plugin will group modifiers and place them after the plain utilities. The first class here is a hover modifier and there's another one here. And when I save, the modifiers have been placed at the end of the list. Same deal with responsive modifiers. They will be grouped together and then placed at the end of the list in the order of the breakpoints in your theme. And we have the plain utilities first, followed by the small breakpoint utilities grouped together and then the large breakpoint at the end. If I keep our previous example and add a class that does not come from Tailwind, like my custom class, and this is not something you generate with Tailwind, but a class that targets, let's say, your third party library, the plugin will place those classes right at the start of the list so it's clear what element uses them. So let me save, and there it is right at the start. That's the prettier plugin for Tailwind CSS in a nutshell. By design, there is no way to customize the sort order. The plugin has strongly held opinions on that. After all, the biggest benefit of using this plugin is to make these decisions for you so you can stop debating and arguing with your team. I thought it would be interesting to show you how to add the prettier plugin to an existing Tailwind CSS project to get a real life example of what the process looks like. Okay, so this is an existing Next.js project. It has a couple of pages, a couple of components, and this is a perfect candidate to try and add the prettier plugin for Tailwind CSS. If I look in the package JSON file, you can see we already using prettier in this project. And so all I need to add is the Tailwind CSS plugin. npm install-d prettier plugin Tailwind CSS. Okay, so with the plugin installed, let's try to format our homepage here. Three, two, one. And there were definitely a few classes jumping around. Okay, our class name attributes have been modified. You can see on the H1, we had text for Excel and then small and medium text changes. And here they've been placed right at the end because the responsive modifiers come at the end. And if I scroll, there's a few more changes on this file. Okay, I'm happy with that. And I think I want to format all the templates on this project. If your project is very large, doing this manually could take a lot of time. But fortunately with Prettier, we can bulk format all the files in our project at once. So let's try that. If I run a quick check, you can see we have three files that need formatting and they all happen to be in the SRC folder. So I will run npx prettier and this time we will dash dash write the files that needs to be updated in the SRC directory. And you can see in white the three files that have been updated. And just like that, our project is now completely formatted with the class sorting treatments. All we really had to do is install the plugin and run Prettier through the files. And now class sorting is something I'll never have to worry about again for this project. Sweet. And that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go let your team know that there's one less thing to worry about in your code base and I'll see you again soon.